Hi, welcome to Sylvie's Technique Vlog. In this section, I'm talking about getting your heart rate down and learning how to control keeping your heart rate down under intense pressure. So for fighting and for training, obviously you wanna train cardio. You wanna be able to get your heart rate up in order to build your capacities, but you also need to learn how to train bringing your heart rate down under pressure so that you don't basically gas out or freak out or anything like this. One of the most commonly stated concerns to me in my six years in Thailand from people who are coming and having an early fight, maybe not their first fight, but within the first like 10 fights of their career, is they're very afraid of gassing out. It is physically pretty impossible to gas out in the three or two minute rounds that you're going to be doing in a fight, which is overall like 10 to 15 minutes. People can recover in insane ways physically. The thing that people actually gas out from is mental. So when you're bringing your heart rate down, you're working on your mentality of being able to be calm under that pressure. When you bring your heart rate up, like for cardio, that's physical. That has nothing to do with <laughs> mentally how you can handle um, getting your heart rate up. But you wanna practice both. You wanna be able to bring your heart rate way up for the capacity and then practice bringing it down so that when you're under pressure and you can feel all of that adrenaline and intensity, you can bring the heart rate down. The reason you wanna be able to bring your heart rate down is to be able to have focus under pressure. It's kind of this fight or flight thing where when your heart rate goes up, you go into like tunnel vision, a little bit panic mode and you can't think or respond the way that you want to. You end up just kind of reacting to things but you're not actually making actions that you would make under more calm circumstances. So in my personal experience, when I train in the gym with people that I know, it can be high pressure, like it's pretty high intensity while I'm sparring with someone, but I know champ or like I know bow. And so my heart rate stays at a kind of okay level because I know these people. That's just built in. But when you go fight, you don't know your opponent and you do know that they're trying to hurt you. So things that you have the capacity to do in your training because your heart rate is at this level, but when you go fight, it's at this level, all of a sudden you're like, why couldn't I do what I wanted to do? And you think there's something wrong with you. It's because you haven't trained going from here down to here. It happens naturally because you know the people you train with and so you think that that's where you're at, but you're not really there. You're there because that's who you train with. So if you look at um, some examples of why the heart rate is important, uh, Kevin and I watched Predator again the other night. <laughs> I really love Predator. But there's a part right after um, Jesse Ventura gets killed, spoiler alert, I think 20 years down the road, it's okay. Um, he gets killed by the predator and this guy freaks out and he has this machine gun and he's just like, <laughs> like into the forest, into the jungle, to the point where his clip is empty and he's still holding it. That's high heart rate. He responded slow and he hit nothing. And he's like, nothing in this world, nothing in this world could survive something like that. You might think that when you're fighting because you're like really throwing stuff at people, but you hit nothing because you have no clarity. Whereas a sniper has that calm heart rate and they have that moment where they just squeeze and pop and that's the moment that they need. That's heart rate.